Hello, my name is Chen Xue. Today, I will tell you one reason why we can't make the best decisions all the time. When we make a decision on a task, we hold an internal belief that this task is relevant, right? And just like this animal switching between picking fruits and fleeing predators, task belief evolves with the changing environment. So to capture decisions in natural scenarios, we showed monkeys two subsequent Gabor stimuli uh, separated by a delay period. And uh, were, the animals were required to discriminate either the spatial location change or the spatial frequency change. So the task implicitly switched between the two features over time, and the monkeys therefore need to infer what is the relevant task demand and perform the perceptual task accordingly. Meanwhile, we recorded from V1 and parietal cortical area 7A with microelectrode arrays. We see that behaviorally, when subjects are confident that they are doing the right task, their perceptual decisions on that task are also more accurate. This is observed both in monkey and preliminary human data. We also found uh, corresponding neuronal evidences in monkeys uh, that perceptual discriminability of a feature change is better when the feature is believed to be relevant than irrelevant. And also, when it is believed to be relevant, the stronger the belief, the better the perception of that feature change. Which poses the question, why does our perception depend on task belief at all? Where exactly is the bottleneck that prevents us from handling everything well at the same time? So to provide a possible mechanism, we first trained a recurrent neural network to do flexible um, perceptual decisions uh, based on explicit input about the relevance of each feature. And after the RNN is, is trained, we replace the explicit input with an ideal observer model, which considers the history of past choices, feedback, and perceptual confidence associated with those choices, and uh, provides the RNN with uncertain inferences of the two tasks' relevance. So with a hybrid model like this, we see that RNN also produces similar behavior with biological subjects. So what might be going on? We now focus on the RNN part of the model and investigate its dynamics when we manipulate the belief inputs. We see that um, the left bar plot uh, that um, weaker belief input did not cause any confusion about the task to perform. But we see on the right bar plot that it is interestingly associated with worse perceptual judgments. And if we test all combinations of belief inputs, it became clear that the perceptual performance only depends on the difference of the beliefs about the two tasks, not the absolute belief strength, which is consistent with our neuronal data in parietal cortex. So what is constraining the RNN from performing perceptual choices well all the time? So we're looking to the dynamics of RNN before the onset of the second stimulus. So we see that in the first two principal components, when the feature is relevant, um, different feature values of the first stimuli are well uh, separated even after the first stimulus is gone as shown in the locations of the circles. However, when the feature is irrelevant, different feature values quickly collapsed together after the first stimulus is gone, showing a loss of working memory during the uh, uh, delay period. On the other hand, among the different degrees of belief in the task, uh, we see that the Euclidean distance between activities during the delay period decreases with weaker belief, as shown by the distance between uh, the circles of the blue trial and the red trial, 
Um, so this indicates worse working memory representation of the believed relevant feature when the belief is weak. Meanwhile, when the feature is believed to be irrelevant, the stronger that belief, the smaller the distance between the blue and red trials. So this indicates the more the network believes a feature is irrelevant, the worse the feature information will be retained in working memory. So I have been showing you uh, what it looks like in the first two or three principal components. But what about the dimensions that we don't see? So here I decoded stimulus feature information during the delay period using the activity of all RNN units. And we see that consistently the feature information is best retrievable when the network strongly believes it is relevant, followed by weak belief states and least retrievable when it is firmly believed to be irrelevant. So the take home message is that just like RNN, our brain may not be able to keep a stable representation of all the feature dimensions in working memory, causing a belief-based uh, selective processing. Future work can test this hypothesis by decoding working memory from prefrontal cortex under different belief conditions, and also test human subjects on their memory of the believed irrelevant feature. I'll end my presentation on acknowledgement of the people and funding that made this work possible. And if you are interested in the data on which the modeling work is based, please check out this related preprint on BioArchive. Thank you.